Shalom, shalom, shalom. Uh, we some brothers here from GMS Atlanta Church. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Pradash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors to our fellow occupants in the word, the truth, and sincerity, and faith across the four corners. And shalom to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men dice from Great Millstone. Like I said, we have a few brothers here from GMS Atlanta Church. Um, you know, as uh, you brothers, you know, um, and, and Israel can see, you know, if, if, if you had a chance to see the, the video that Elder Apostle Tahar posted today to his page, you know, um, you know, the Spirit had, had him, um, you know, pretty much at the moment close the door as far as new members coming into, into the body, man. Okay. And that's a, that's a, uh, you know, that, that's a sign that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is really, um, and through the Spirit, tight, tightening up this body, man. All right. Making sure that. You know, there, there's no breaches in the body, you know, that there, uh, there's no schisms, you know, that we're moving um, as a, as a well-oiled machine, so to speak, you know, so we have to make sure that, we, that we're all taking heed to that, okay, and understanding that and moving forward um, in the right spirit, you know, and really in the spirit of uh, uh, continuing to do the will of the Heavenly Father, all right, through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in the one of the world ignorantly, ignorantly called Jesus Christ, okay, because... Uh, really, salvation is uh, is is, is, at, is uh, at at hand here, man. You know, salvation's on the line. All right, so we get right into it. You know, brothers in the spirit. All right, this is Second uh, Peter three and nine. It says, "The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, mm -hmm. as some men count slackness, mm -hmm. but is long suffering to us, word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance." Right, and. The, the main the main theme or topic of what we're going to go into, into this lesson is going to be uh, on reproof, you know. But in this particular precept, it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, okay? Meaning that, excuse me, the spirit is tightening it up because we're getting closer and closer to the promise of what? The promise of salvation, okay? So, you know, we have to just all understand and move with that, uh, move with that, uh, that understanding, you know, of, of what's happening in the body through the spirit, okay, and understand that we're getting closer and closer to salvation, man, okay, and it says not as uh, some men ca uh, count slackness, but long suffering to us, for, okay, because we have to continue to uh, to uh, fight and purge, okay, because once again, salvation's on the line, man, okay, and 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 through that, we have to also understand that uh, a, a big portion of the purging process or the purification process comes through reproof. You know, we can't, you know, uh, the scriptures speak about that surely offenses shall come, but woe unto him that's offended, you know, because there's going to be certain times that, you know, the spirit, you know, is, might rough your feathers a little bit, man. Okay. But we have to understand and, uh, and understand that's really Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah continuing to chastise us because he loves us as sons, you know. Uh, Mom, shall I read from uh, But It's Long Suffering? All right, continue on. It says, uh, <clears throat> the, I'll start from the top. Okay. Second Peter three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, mm -hmm. but is long suffering mm -hmm. to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Right. So, uh, but, but the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai is, is uh, long suffering towards us, man. Okay. And the the and He's doing that because He doesn't He doesn't have the desire that we should perish, man. All right. His desire is that we can turn back. To the heavenly Father through the Messiah, okay, and uh, and um, walk in and walk in repentance, man, okay. But once again, a lot of times there's certain times that uh, uh, you can't see certain things about yourself in the spirit, okay, and that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has a body in which uh, he may put he may very well put the spirit on a, a man, okay, to uh, um, let you know what's going on in the spirit, man, you know. And that's a good thing. That's something that we should uh, uh, welcome him and, and embrace, okay? Especially because here in America, you know, uh, with us being stripped from our heritage and our culture, you know, and our, and, uh, our biblical nationality, we don't, we, we, we're, we're rebuilding this thing from, from uh, the ground up. You know, we don't, under, we don't understand how the men of old actually uh, operated because we, we're just now tapping back into it. Well, I, I should say we didn't understand, okay? And we still, you know, um, don't have to, don't grasp the fullness of it, but we have a better idea, you know, because um, we understand this this, this book uh, speaks to, uh, towards us and the history of our people. Everybody's got your precepts? Yeah, I got your precepts. Bring it up. 
This is uh, Sirach chapter uh, 16, verse 12. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. Mm -hmm. So just it's a balance with the Lord. You know, you get you get mercy from the Lord and you get rebuke from the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, they both go hand in hand. But even even then, on the on the correction side, like you said, you know, if you don't be offended by the rebuke, then it's a win situation in the rebuke too. Because it, like the brother said, the, the uh, rebuke shows you where you're going off at, so you can straighten up and won't have to go through it again, and also prosper. It's like it. without straight. having a minor setback of of being in the hot water, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And it says right here, it says, um, he judges a man according to his works. <laughs> and so, so, you, so your works, you know, if you if you, if you messing up in the spirit of the Lord, to have it to where you want to be doing shoddy work, you know what I'm saying, so to speak, or, you know, you can't, you can't use a, uh, you can't use that type of hammer to, to nail in that plywood. Uh, you can't use a house hammer to nail in that plywood. You got to use the east wing to, to nail mm -hmm. in that plywood to go up on that wall building that house up. That's that's what it's basically talking about. Mm -hmm. It works and stuff like it shows your faith. And if your faith is lacking like the Apostle uh, Tahar said in the video today. If your brother is lacking and doing the work, period, whether he be a help, or you got to add something to the body. You know, you just can't be stagnant and not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, and you know, actually, you know, just like my you know, brother speak about, um, you know, on Esau's plantation or, or Esau's job or work site, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring a certain level, you know, of really of your spirit, of energy, to you know, to the to the work to the workplace, man. Okay, and just like just use that as an analogy, if you're not doing your job at a high level, okay, or you're doing it in a lack of days, a lack of days with kind of, I don't give a fuck, I really don't want to be here, but I'm here type of uh, spirit. Esau gonna fire your fucking ass, man. So what not more the Heavenly Father? How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Yeah. A little more on that? Uh, no, that was it. You got anything? Yeah, I got something. Bring it up. This is uh, Revelation 13. Oh, excuse me. Revelation 3 and 19. All right. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And we mm -hmm. look at that word, uh, rebuke. Uh, I'll let Esau say it real quick. Strong's G, 1651, Elect Ho, Elect Ho. Elect Ho. And one of the definitions that I found um, <clears throat> is uh, in the B category, by conviction, to bring to the light, to expose. So when you get rebuked, you're being exposed on something that you might not have thought about, but the Spirit is exposing you, and it might be, well, it's going to be through rebuke. You know, mm -hmm. as the brother's saying, we're here in America. America's on that Terrell Owens, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what I want to say, do what I want to do. You can't tell me nothing mentality. But when you come into this faith, that's what that's what's, it's part of. The, uh, rebuke is part of our heritage. It tell you when you're going off. You know, tell you uh, to be sharp on your toes. So rebuke is bringing something to light that, hey, you, you might have not known it, you know. But... That's why the brotherhood is here for. You know, this isn't a, a chicken and beer club. All right, like, like the brother says, salvation is on the line. And I'm going to go to verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. So we see it now with the lesson that Apostle Hart put up, that door is, is closing. So it's imperative for us that's in, in the faith, that's in these camps, to take rebuke, to accept it. Okay, it doesn't always feel uh, great at first. You might, hey man, you might try to <laughs> climb into a wall or something, like a hole in the wall, man, but you gotta see that when brothers put out something, whether it's the whole body gets rebuked or individual gets rebuked, it's for your safety and it's, it's, for, it's for your uh, life, man, because that door of salvation is slowly closing and we don't want to be the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get, uh, go into this etymology too. I, um, Went from the the animal uh, online uh, for rebuke. The noun it says a reproof or a reprimand. So that was a noun version. Uh, uh, version. Um, so.
so with that it said reproof, so I'm going to um, the etymology of the word reproof. The brother said they you know sometimes a lot of times it doesn't it doesn't feel good. And even with that, you have to actually kind of build yourself up in the spirit so you can just take it, man. You know, just take it, you know, and um and even, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes it actually helps to um bring just certain things out to uh the forefront, you know. Because we were people who actually communicated, you know, so sometimes it really I want to get to uh, this word reproof too. All right, so it says uh, the etymology, the etym online says a shame, a disgrace, also a censor of rebuke, repro reproach, rejection. All right, to blame or accuse. Okay, so really, with that, some sometimes you know, the Most High Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai kind of creates certain situations in which there is a little tension amongst brothers, so to speak. You know, and it's just by by that. By the um, the issue coming to the forefront, that's how Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is actually enabling enabling us to just hash it out, man. You know, because once again, we are people, we, especially the men of our nation, especially with you know the the law, statutes, commandments. Then Yahweh Shah came on the scene and, and, and directed us how to deal with our brothers. You know, we were people, especially the men, who knew how to communicate and talk to each other, man. Okay, and sometimes and and sometimes it, the conversation it, it gets heated, man. But that's okay because through that you learn you learn that you can actually trust the man, all right? Because he's not gonna um, he's not uh, what's going to speak about um, open rebuke is better than uh, secret love because you can trust you can trust that man if if some shit is really you know bothering them or uh, rubbing them the wrong way in the spirit that he's gonna actually bring it to the forefront, man. You know, any more on that? That's it on that. Can we go back? Let's go back to the second Peter. Second Peter three and uh, nine says, uh, "The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance." Mm -hmm. Verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And that's what we have to understand, man. All right, we can't allow uh, this this Westernized mentality, okay, to. Uh, have us lose track of the vision of what we're fighting for, man. We're fighting for salvation, all right? In which we, we can um, measure the time to the best of our ability diligently within itself. We have, to, we have to also understand that we don't know when the Lord's coming back, man, all right? That the Lord's going to come back when the world least expect it. The, world, the, the Lord may come back when you don't even expect it, man. So we have to embrace the, the, the whole spectrum of the community. Really, I would get kind of want to focus more so at this point on communication, man. Focus on the whole method of communication in which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has established for the, the elect men of his nation, man. All right? You continue. All right. Um, let's see. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And they go into the thermonuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. You continue. They, 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 understand what's coming, man. All right? The missiles are coming now. We... we us, Lord woman, being the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, these are things that we speak and think about uh, uh, often, okay? But understand, just because it's it's ringing heavy in your mind, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's something to take lightly, man. Mm -hmm. All right? These are things that are, are going to actually happen on this very ground of which that we stand and sit on, man. You know? Take that into account when these things happen. Yeah, All right? Apostle Bar said that, too. He said that in the video, uh, Lamb back in the Apostle Hard video, about no new members in uh, GMS anymore. <coughs> and uh, he was like, that's just an inkling of things to come. It's like Amos chapter 8, you know, the famine of the word, that's coming about. Because, uh, we, like he said, we're going to be doing YouTube no more. You know what I'm saying? And brothers communicating in the truth. You know, a lot of brothers been getting put out and Satan is just hunting brothers, pulling on the flesh more and more. The time we just moving into the future. Like the brother said, time is nearer than what we believe. And that goes for, you know, ourselves included. You know, taking heed to, to what the apostles say and keep doing the work and striving. You know, just put into actions what we read every day. Because any time the Lord can just have it to where martial law come in and everything that we learn and have faith in, you know, the Lord can have mercy on us in that day or may not. That's right. I'm going to get something real quick. This is Proverbs 29 and 1. He that being often reproved, hardeneth his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, 
and that without remedy, okay? Because as the brother is saying, as the captain is saying, you know, we have to really understand and take these things into account, man, all right? Even understand a, a, a precept as basic as that, it was a precept that we all familiar with. It's like, well, if you, if you know that a man, a person that's often reproved is going to harden his neck, okay, and the scripture says it's going to be suddenly destroyed, work to be reproved less. Do, do things that actually, you know, uh, will offend the spirit. Because really, well, it's like it. Do things that will grieve the spirit less and less, all right? If, if your camp pet has been saying, a, you know, this certain th thing and be on this topic or this thing for weeks or two, three, four, five times, don't be that brother that's continuously grieving the spirit or going against what the camp head said. All right. If your camp, if your captain or the officer or the sergeant, you know, is you know spoken to you or to the group collectively on you know a, a number of times, take that into account and 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 uh, uh, walk with the flock, man. All right. Understand even something like that. Understand that you don't want you don't you don't even want to put yourself in a position that you are often reproved. Now understand, you know that. Um, it's going to come, all right, and, and uh, you know, you have to learn how to take it. That don't mean you just want to set yourself up. What, 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 you, you got to be a dumbass kid to just want to get to a point where you can just take an ass whooping. Because it's going to come to that point that, you know, that ass whooping might be too much for you to bear, all right? And according to the scripture, it says when we suddenly destroy it, man. So, you know, we have to learn how to, you know, all of us you know, have to learn how to continue to grow and abound in this truth, man. All right, and, and, and even a part of that, now, of course, there's going to be times when we all fall short. That goes without being said, okay? Go through uh, growing pains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah of, of course that's going to happen, okay? But at the end of the day, we have to we, we have to really in, uh, embody the spirit of Martin the perfect man. Yahweh shot being a perfect man in which he was perfect. He was without spot and blemish. Are we going to be without spot and blemish? No, okay? But we have to do our part to make sure that we are as uh, pure as possible, so to speak. All right. Uh, finish off on that. All right, um, continuing on, it says, And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are then shall be burnt up. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, mm -hmm. what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, so seeing that we un we have an understanding, we have a heightened understanding of these prophecies, all right, than the average Joe Blow American or person across this world, what manner of person are, ought you to be, man? All right? You ought, you ought to be, uh, you know, myself included, we ought to be in the spirit of trying our best to, to uh, um, uh, satisfy our, our, uh, our, our uh, spiritual powers, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh shine? Okay, that's that's really the mindset that we should be in. It's trying to offend as less as possible, man. All right? Even understand, because it says, um, um, what what manner of person ought you to be in all in all holy conversation and godliness? I mean, too, we got to be comfortable with even giving uh, certain uh, uh, corrections and uh, reprimands or reproofs or encouragement, whatever it is, whatever it takes as far as on a communication level. All right, we have to all uh, open ourselves up to do our our fair share, so to speak. Yeah, and though you fall short, you you make sure you examine yourself and pick yourself up. So, you know, what better time is to do it than, than now? And then you see a brother's doing it, it'll probably be the same time. You, you tell that brother too, hey brother, don't be, you know, don't be lacking. You know, the brother may see you went out and you straightened up. <coughs> Still though, you know, we just sharpen each other. It ain't one over the over the other. You know, mm -hmm. we just saving each other out of the water on, on the right hand side, uh and, and, and the fire on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. you know, going through that straight narrow gate. Mm -hmm. Cause this world don't give a damn about us, man. Mm -hmm. I just want to get into this word uh, conversation uh, really quick. Um, let's start my Bluetooth setup so you know, I ain't gonna say it. But this uh, the word there is G three ninety one uh, anastrophe. It says manner of life, conduct, behavior, or deportment. Okay. Then the etymology of the word deportment it says manner of acting toward or before others. Okay. So how are we gonna uh, what type of etiquette, so to speak, spiritual etiquette? You know, how are we going to act? How are we going to actually engage with, with this body, man? You know? And like I said, that means we have to, and, and, and we have a very special calling in which we're, we're called to be uh, um, leaders, okay, to our nation. We're also called to be followers, man. We have to balance, we have to balance that scale, man, okay, in acting towards, uh, you know, our Heavenly, our, uh, heavenly Father and our, uh, our Messiah, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and how we conduct and act towards the apostles and elders, okay, our, uh, our peers, okay, 
the, the younger men coming in, okay, and and those who are uh, hopefully following following uh, uh, the spirit that's placed in us, okay, to uh, 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 seek the face of Yahweh Shah, and these heathens in the world, and the two thirds, okay, everybody. We got a major responsibility. We got a major responsibility, man, and that's and that's why the spirit jumped on Apostle Elder to heart for us to to shut it down for a minute, man. You know, however long the spirit had, you know, have him shut it down. I, I don't know. You no, know, but shut it down, man. Let's actually focus on fine-tuning this body, man. Let's get this body ready for the um for the masses that's getting ready to come uh uh, uh and, and want to and want to want to uh hear the, the words coming out of our mouth and understand it given to us by Yahweh Bash Shah. Like going back to what you said, communication. The apostles mentioned that too. He said about the dude that bugged out and killed his family. He was part of uh, uh, the, the ministry at one, one point in the time. You never know what brothers are going through, too. You know, communication is key. Now, if a brother on that level is just bugging out, then he got to be put away from the body. He's very right. going to reveal it. But, you know, even then, you know, little minor stuff that's not even on that level. Still, you know, brothers just check with each other, not getting on each other like, you know, it's a, it's a balance with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Come come at a brother like naturally like we've been doing it. Brothers got to accept that too. Mm -hmm. Because brothers can accept when brothers be at a feast or just getting together, drinking beer, eating chicken. Mm -hmm. like you can't, you know, just can't communicate on a, a normal day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's you know, that's, that's unbalanced. Mm -hmm. You know, there ain't nothing to, to pick at your, your wounds and stuff like that because we all come from di different walks of life. Yeah. But at the same time, we got to pick each other up. This is picking me up in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Brothers got bills and other stuff, you know, cares of the world. But at the same time, getting together with brothers is, is, is really healthy for, for, your, for your mental state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Physical being too. Yeah, man, because, bro, we're getting attacked. Somebody get Ephesians 6, Bible Kishon, started verse 11. Because, bro, we're, we're literally getting attacked, all right, by demons, man. Damn, all right? Man. Demons are literally attacking us, man. Okay, to the point that it'll ha it'll have you have an evil eye towards the same the brother that's in the same fight with you. <laughs> the same, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Like yep, this yep. thing is real, man. It is. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it really that's why I kind of wanted to switch. You know, we you know we just flowed in the spirit, kind of you know, had a topic. You know, we just flowed in the spirit. I really want to kind of get into the communication aspect of it. Not to be too long winded because c communication isn't always rebuke. Communication isn't always reproof. Sometimes people. Hey, Shalom, bro. I just thought about you, bro. You know, what's, how you doing, man? Right. And then, and then, if a, if a brother reaches out to you, you gotta be willing to say if something if, if something's bothering you, right. and you, and it's something that's actually fucking you up in the spirit, you gotta be willing to say, hey, bro, hey, why don't you hit me up, man? I've been I've been struggling, bro. Right. And it's okay to to to, to mention that. You know, brothers may say brothers don't be calling about your problems all the time, and it is true. Not all the time, because it's like, you know, you got to fight at some point in time, but it's like, you know, even then, you know, call brothers on that matter. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's, it's real out here, man. Satan is, is trying to pull us out the truth, man. He don't give a damn if you've been in for 30 years or a week or two months. He's trying to pull you out, man. Yeah, for real. That, that's This is real, man. All right? Satan is literally trying to take your crown and your salvation away from you, man. Literally. For real. Seriously, man. Yeah. You can read out, bro. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh mm -hmm. that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, and a part, a part of the armor that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gave us, okay, is the brotherhood. We were all we were all spiritually <laughs> sick and destitute, man. Okay. And remember that, remember that, those first times you came to the camp to where, man, it's, you go you go to the camp and it's like, damn, man, like. You leave camp, just recharge for the whole week, all right? And and why is that? Because the brothers, but the brothers is there, man. Right, and if I can say, you should still feel like that, man, because this is a, this is a source of refreshment. Like you know, Lord willing, we can go to camp tomorrow, and it's a, it's a source of refreshment to bring out His word to link up with brothers. Because like you're saying, Satan is coming, whether it be ailments, uh, brothers getting the car wrecks, brothers trying, uh, people trying to bring accusations against you know certain men. Or whatnot, you know, we need the brotherhood and and to establish communication and just to see how our brother's doing, just to see how he's doing through the spirit, because that's gonna heighten up a brother up to get him charged up. 
so on and so forth. So it's it's a balance. Like like we're saying, you can't just cuss a man out. But sometimes if a, if a man get on you, he'll cuss you out, and then like thirty minutes later, he'll offer you a drink. Yeah, right. make you food. Yeah, make you food. Yeah. That, so that's that's the balance of it, man. Mm-hmm. That's know? the real love, though. Like a man, a man gotta really love you to cuss you out, man. And then it's like the man understand you in the fight. He's like, man, you know, it's, you, know so you, you hungry, bro? And it, 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 men, they don't do that out of they don't do that to be fake. They do it because it's, it, it, it's real. Yeah. Uh, whole um, First Peter five, start at verse six. Yeah, I just I got that right now. Come, yeah. you can uh, go ahead, box. Okay. Uh, verse twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against. See, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We're not wrestling against each other, man. All right. We're wrestling. Continue. Oh, or against people in the world. Right. Because the spirits be on the uh, people. And that's going mm-hmm. back to Ephesians chapter 2. The prince of the air working in the children is disobedient. Mm-hmm. And these, these damn things can be out there, man. You, you may have a thought in your mind at the house, and then it'll play out through people. You know, I don't know how people, brothers' thoughts are, but, you know, it, 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 it just be that way. Yeah. Um, it says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's what we, that's what we fight against, man. Even like the captain was saying, even understanding that when you go out and deal in the world, this, a lot of the spirits that are on the people you deal with have been put on them by the elites of, uh, of es- Esau Edom, man. Yep. They literally trying to siphon those spirits to the people that we have to deal with on a day-to-day basis, right. man. Right. Spiritual being saved ultimately rules over the elite. Yeah, you know? So it's like, Yahweh Bashim Shah is Closing the breaches, man, so we can understand it. We can get tight, man. Yeah, we're more than conquerors. Right. We're facing all this, these obstacles. Mm-hmm. And we can, and we can yeah, once you finish that, if you, if you uh, get that one close on that one, brother's got some more, too. Okay, come You can continue. Mm-hmm. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And this is our greatest enemy, man. All right? Against those, uh, those, uh, those <coughs> dark, the spiritually demented Edomites, man. All right? Who have, who have control and dominion of this entire world, man. Right. Yeah. We, your brother next to you is not your enemy, man. Okay? And if and if he is your enemy, the spirit's going to reveal it. You ain't got to worry about doing no deep... Dark, I know that brother's off, man. Right. You ain't got to worry about yeah, that. Don't be, don't be whispering against brothers, man. Like you said, you get a brother food or plate or give him comforting words or rebuke. That's it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it ain't got to be... All out. Hey, go to that brother and save him from that fire. If mm-hmm. not, then you know, take right. him to the council. And you gotta, mm-hmm. They don't take heed and cast him out as a heathen. Mm-hmm. But we ain't got to do no corner shit like Jake in the world. And if you and if you feel that way towards a brother, like pray for the man. Yeah, pray before, for the man. Before you get to the point, this, this nigga off, man. Like you should be praying for him. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying trying to link up with him, trying to do certain things. You know, in the yeah. building the spirit. Forget our brother seven, 70 times 7. Right. Uh, 70. Mm-hmm. Uh, every day. Every day. Yeah, Peter said, how, how much time should we you know, forgive our brothers? Y'all was shy. I said, basically, infinity, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, all, we all fight. This one go into it, too. But we all fighting demons, man. Yeah. We all literally fighting demons, man. You can uh, finish off on that. Okay, cut Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, because and really this is all uh, training, training ground, training uh, process mm-hmm. towards the evil day, man. All right, Toward, towards uh, walking to and through Jacob's trouble, man. All right, when Esau Edom were really come down with that uh, uh, that wrath, man. You know, we did, this is just a training ground for us to all get tight, man. All right, for us to uh, build ourselves up individually and collectively, man. Okay, because Yahweh Shemayahu Shah is building an elite fighting force on this earth, man. Starting in his men. Any more on that? Uh, yeah, that's it, man. Come and get that. All right, it's First Timothy five and six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. Yeah, understand that the mighty hand is is of Yahweh Shemayahu Shah. Okay, Yahweh Shemayahu Shah is controlling this whole program, man. This whole this whole movie or script or play, however you want to put it in the in the words, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha has preordained this before we even came on you know, in this flesh, man. Okay? And that's why it's important for us to continue to humble ourselves, man. Brothers gotta remember the fast as well, man. 
Because uh, even how Shah said, some spirits, you got, you got to fast off, man. Some spirits are, are so strong, you know. And it might be something that you've been carrying on you, on you for years mm -hmm. without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. But you have to actually, you know, mm -hmm. uh, fast those things off and pray for you, how about you, how to remove evil spirits from you, man. All right? God. Continue, bro. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. Yeah, because... Really, our time to be exalted, Lord, wants or come in the kingdom, man. Right. right now, we just, you know, head down on the grind, man. All right? Trying to do our best day in and day out to make sure that we don't bug out, man. Mm -hmm. That we don't be one of those examples of the men that came before us, those uh, men examples of unbelief. Mm -hmm. You know, who couldn't who couldn't get the job done, man. Yeah, we don't want to be one of those guys who return to their own vomit, man. Right. Who come up months and months later trying to explain, but meanwhile, right. they ain't even trying to pick up the plot. That's 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 scary in itself, man. Right. You know, you are trying to come back years later, but Yahweh Shai said, you know, don't. Uh, basically, in Luke nine sixty two, man, don't look back, man. Mm -hmm. Put your hand to the plow and don't look back, man. Mm -hmm. If you if you if you look back, you're not fit for the kingdom, man. So if you're not fit for the kingdom, man, man, there's many ways to get put down by Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yeah. You can see. All right, verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but once again, we don't have, we don't have things to, we don't have to worry about nothing, man. All right? If you're in need and, you, and you're lacking in certain areas, Yahweh Shad knows your needs, okay, before you, you, it's even a need. But it's up to you to, to cast that care upon, uh, upon the Lord, okay? And trust that he's going to make you whole when it's time for you to be made whole. Kind of says in James, the first chapter, if you lack anything, ask the most high. Ask the most high, man. That's basically, it's, it's simple, man. Ask the most high. You got to continue to beg the most high, man. It's like if you got a a, a father and you want something, you're going to keep asking, asking. You're going to beg. You know, Lord, I mean, Dad, what I got to do? He's going to give you certain requirements and you got to meet them. We can't just sit here and pray and don't do nothing, man. Right. I'm gonna get that for you. There's a point I want to bring on that too. You can go into it though. Uh, this is James one and five. Uh, that's what I'm starting with verse. This is James one and four. But let patience have her perfect work, mm -hmm. that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. <clears throat> if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not. So even people in the world know. That that uh, ask you shall receive, man. How much more us, man? If there's something that you're lacking on, maybe it might be uh, coming coming uh, amongst the brothers, you know, linking up. It might be um, certain things as far as the Hebrew, or certain character actor, uh, certain character flaw that you have. Mm -hmm. So you got to ask the Lord, like Lord. That's why that's why it's important to learn the Hebrew and learn these prayers, so you can send an individual prayer in the Hebrew to say, look, Lord, please help me with. Um, you know this particular issue. Mm -hmm. You got you got to keep asking the Lord over and over and over again. When mm -hmm. He gives it to you, you got to utilize what He gave you. Mm -hmm. Come, uh, I'm reading that again. This is James one and five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask uh, ask of the Most High that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. And upbraid it goes into it's like upbraid goes into he ain't gonna be like man look 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 at this man. Last week, now he asked me for a prayer to 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 to, to get that demon off of him. Been there years, but now you know he's now he want to ask. So I'm, I'm gonna see you, bro. He, he gonna fall right after that. Now, nah, Lord, ain't, that that that's upbraiding right there. Lord, mm -hmm. don't look down on you like that. Mm -hmm. Jake count slackness. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture just said. Yeah. But pray to the Lord individually mm -hmm. for that. He'll give it to you. Kind of beautiful. That's the exact point I wanted to hit. Captain hit it right on the head. We finish off from there. All right, so 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, be sober and be, be vigilant, man. Meaning be, <coughs> be clear-minded, be focused, all right? And be really in the spirit of a go-getter, man. Be, be the, 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 the engine, so to speak. Be your own little engine within this big, in, within this big machine, all right? Keep, keep, do what you got to do to stay on top of it, man, all right? Push, it, push yourself to the limit sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. Push yourself to the point of exhaustion, man. All right? And then get some rest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, it ain't like you're going to just, you know, uh, uh, spontaneous, spontaneously combust, man. 
You're gonna be all right. Yeah, but this world can teach you how to be complacent, mm -hmm. unknowingly and knowing. You know, right. through through experience, this this world can just have you. You know, like especially if you just got this truth. It's like you know, oh man, I'm all good because I know the Lord. He got me. Now man, you gotta you gotta keep showing up. Like look, like, like hey, you know, I want I want it still. Mm -hmm. you know, yes, that's, that's with everything. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm learning that, you know. It ain't all good just because you know the Lord. <laughs> it's, a, it's a continuous grind, man. Yeah. All right, even going to Yahweh Shah in the parable of the talents with the uh, the unprofitable servant, what did Yahweh Shah tell him? He said, uh, you know, take take away from what I gave him and give it to a profitable servant. So that, why, why did Yahweh Shah say that? Because he understood, he knew that the, the servant who already showed himself to be profitable was going to continue to build that build that usury up, man. Right. Continuing to build the... Uh, to, uh, um, do greater and greater works. Continuing to uh, 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 get sharper and sharper, so to speak, man. Continuing to to build uh, his portion of the, of, of the kingdom, man. All right, because really, we 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 right now we're gathering uh, specific portions of spirits. Spirits are going to uh, be, uh, be, uh, be building towards the kingdom, man. Uh, get that last verse. All right, verse nine. Whom resist steadfast in the faith. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The same afflictions happen to your brothers, man. All right? You walk, you got to walk through shit, yes. All right? Your brother's walking through shit too, man. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why it's important to continue to communicate, man. All right? Continue, you know, continue to uh, be able to give and take rebuke. Continue to give and take uh, reproof. Continue to be able to give and, and uh, take advice. Counsel. Mm -hmm. You no, know, ain't like I said, it ain't gotta always be so the, the hard thing, so to speak. Sometimes the, the softer things be harder to take because you know what? The, like, it's just like a you playing like softball or baseball. If you get that, if you get that uh, that soft pitch, so to speak, you're supposed to be able to crush that bitch, and knock it out the fucking uh, uh, um, out the field, man. All right. And sometimes that's sometimes that's a bigger challenge because it's like it's a softball, bro. You couldn't hit a softball. It ain't like it's no uh, no. You no know, four seam fastball. I don't I ain't never played baseball, but you know, it ain't like it's a curveball, it's a softball, bro. You're supposed to be able to crush that motherfucker, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once again, just keeping and understanding the the um the fact of what's getting what we're getting ready to walk into, man. Understand we're getting ready to walk into Jacob's trouble. Understand that these missiles are coming. Understand that Yahweh Bashan Shah has people and spirits that he wants you to be able to lead to salvation. Mm -hmm. We can't take these things in the spirit of slackness, man. We have to continue to, to push forward towards the mark, man. That was the last point I wanted in that. Did you get that last precept? Uh, which one? Um, we're more than conquerors. If us can find it. Okay. Is that, uh, Second Romans? Uh, this is Romans uh, 837. Hmm. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors right. through him that love us. We got Yahweh Shai, man, all right? How, we know we have Yahweh Shai because we, we trust and believe that the Holy Spirit is working in us, man, okay? So if we have, if we have Yahweh Shai in our corner, okay, he's really our shield and our buckler. He's our shield. He's our buckler, all right? He's our, our, our spiritual weapon, okay? He's our invisibility cloak. It's all of these things, okay? So through Yahweh Shai, we can do and conquer anything, man. Mm -hmm. But we have the, the 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 thing that unlocks that is believing that the Lord is working with you. You have to trust and believe that the Lord wants you, man. Okay? And by trusting and believing that, even if you got one talent, even if you got three talents, if you got a hundred talents, you're like, I gotta double this thing up. By knowing and trusting that Yahweh Shai is working within us. And by coupling that with um, what we spoke about earlier, James, the first chapter, you should be confident that you that you have what you need to get your portion of the job done, man. You know, um, that's all I got. This brother's got anything else? Yeah, just just go for that crown, man. Go for that crown so you can be crowned by the uh, Yahweh Shah, the Great One. You know, when he comes when he comes back, uh, just anytime. You know, just think, just think, just think kingdom minded, man. Brace yourself for rebuke and stir yourself up and keep going forward because it ain't no end, you know. Mm -hmm. You give up, you know, the, the, the thing ends when you give up. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Know? So it's all on you, you know. Kind of. So everybody's got? Kind of. Kind of. All right, so we hope and pray the lesson was edifying. We want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakodash. Love and honor to our apostles, our elders, and great millstone will lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to you, I can push in the word of truth, faith, and sincerity. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.